She might GTA chums, the Emperor Vectra is discounted this week, and it's one of the fastest tuners class cars. Um, with the uh, the Growler, I found was a bit faster, but you also have the Coleco GTX, which is a little bit slower. So it's one of it's it's recognised as one of the top three fastest in the tuners class. But if you're talking about sports class as a whole, it's about 18th or something like that. So it's not. None of these tuners class are really competitive in the sports class anymore um, because of the nerfing, of course. Armor is all updated, so we're going to do the the um, we're going to do a little bit of a um, customization job first, and then we're going to crack straight on with a bit of a race. Well, not a race, a drive. I like that filling it in is nice. In all this vent, it's quite angry, isn't it? But this is really much softer. So for that reason, it's a yes from me. I like the level of customization of these tuners cars. It, it really is a dream. You can do, you can do anything. What is that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's a really low down car. The stance is immensely low, which is why you get the speed on this car. GT bumper looks great. And with purple, I think so. Let's let's put that in then. There we go. That is nice, nice, nice. Engine block. Oh, we've got all this business. What have we got? Secondary intake. Rail covers. Don't get done over. Like some of these secondaries are pretty good, decent. Um, let's have a think. Oh, they all look the same, really. It's, let's do the Rhino. It's simple, isn't it? Strip, strip race. The purple one. That's nice. Engine tunes is done. Exhaust. Yeah, if you like uh, this video, I'm sure it exists in the ether. Uh, if you like this car, the look of it presently. Oh, well, you can make them square, but the round goes with the round holes there, so. For that reason, I'm not going to change it. Maybe we'll change it to those. Those look pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to have those uh, fenders. Alright, so we've not put. We've got stock at the moment. These kind of push it out a little bit, a bit more aggressive, dare I say. So arc fenders, yeah, we'll do those. Headlight covers. I mean, you can do that. It's quite funny. Who needs headlights? What have we got at the moment? We've got iridescence. I think iridescence great. So we're going to leave that. Hood accessories. Okay, so you can pin it down. No doubt it won't stop the hood from coming up. Oh, GT hood, a hood bra. What is with those hood bras? They're things you always see in America. I'm not convinced they're a thing, though. So we're not going to put them on. The bonnet, or hood, as you would say. The secondary. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the secondary. I'm going to leave it. It's a primary. Racer hood looks good. Rally hood. You know, I like rallies, but. Well, that's quite nice. It's got that lip on it, hasn't it? Good detailing for that reason, it's a yes. Okay, interior. Oh, this is the bit I find quite tedious. <laughs> do you? <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna show it you. Yeah, we're not going to do anything to that. The, the doors look great, you know. It's fine. Rally seats. I think we made the right choice with that one. So a quick look. I think those are good as well. Oh, let's put them in just for the hell of it. Yeah. Steering wheel. Oh, yes. Emperor. Formula basic. Oh, formula cutout. That colours it in. The, the secondary colour. We'll have that. Roll cage. Street half cage. I think that's... We, it's a tuner's build, so we want. We probably want some kind of roll cage, and I think the half cage is the best way to go. Um, it's tasteful. Right, liveries. So we've not got a livery on presently. But what are we going to do? A white. I'm not sure of the colour yet, so. That orange. There's something about that. I'm not sure if I've ever had a livery on this. The liveries aren't the strongest. But that orange, I want to do something with that. Okay, plate and respray is the important bit. Primary colour. Let's just look at the classics and see what they throw out. 
Oh, I've been here before. Sea green, haven't we? Yeah. Gasoline green. That looks good. That does look good. What is that all about? You've gone crazy, my friend. <laughs> Talking to myself. Secondary colour, right, classic. We have bright purple, which isn't going to cut it. Isn't going to cut the mustard. Cream. Who would believe that? Straight away. I think it's going to be cream. And we could just go gasoline green again. Let's just have a wee look at that. Grey looks... Nah. I'm not going orange. Did I just miss it? I did, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay. Sea green is a similar colour. But no. There it is. Okay. Now, if I was a betting person, I would say that you like that better. So for that reason, we're going to go with the secondary colour the same. <laughs> Um, trim colour, alright. We can do white. Bluish silver is white. Yeah, good. Accent colour, ice white is classic. Chromblum on the door and roof. Accessories. This is a little wing thing. I, I, I like that wing ding. You've got the uh, vortex generator thing. Um, what's that? Secondary street ring? No. Um, it's a tricky one, isn't it? If you're going to go for a clean build, then it's probably something like that, isn't it? We have these little scoopy things. Let's go with the secondary. Yeah, why not? Roof. Oh, we can change the roof. We can ridge it up. Secondary ridge line roof is what we've got. We've already changed the secondary colour, so we're going to leave it. Um, skirts. We have the best painted. But orange. That orange looks great. If that didn't have these big chubby bits, I'd be having that. Oh, there's one. Painted arrow. See, we've got that orange accent. See, we don't want to hide that. We want to keep it, so we're going to go for something simple. There we go. Nice. Splitters. <laughs> it never ends. Uh, Customisation. Okay, we've got stock. Carbon drift, isn't it? I think that's the best one. Yeah, we're going to leave the splitter. Spoiler is probably the best as well. I don't like these load spoilers, but actually, there's a lip one. We're going to need that for performance reasons. That's nice. Ducktail. That's a good ducktail. Secondary ducktail, primary. So primary ducktail it is. That is the that is nice. Impressed. I'm impressed with that. Um, I like th I like the sun strip, so I'm going to leave it. Suspension. This is the hilarious part. So this is where you start off with, and you put it down, and it cambers really nicely. So you might not like that, but this is what you want to go for for performance reasons. So if you don't like that and are going to race it, then uh, tough, isn't it? You have to put it concave mega mesh, <laughs> of course. So we're not going to change that because it's. Oh, why have I done fluorescent blue? I didn't do that. Damn it! I think some kind of. I think we still need to have a bright colour on this. Desert tan looks good. I'm just going to throw that on, just to see. Oh, we could go orange as well. That keeps with the orange theme. That's nice. Yeah, we're going to go orange. Windows. A light smoke window is nice. 
Looking for a race build, it's what you want, you don't want to do a limo. But a limo does look good, but you're missing out on the um, the internals. So we're going to leave it as it is. That is it. We're done. Well look, there's another car in my garage. I can uh, do that. Okay, that is it. We're done with this. So first off, the engine sound is excellent on this. I prefer the Karin Coleco GTF. This sounds a little bit like um, a performance tractor. So a bit too growly. It doesn't quite have the tuned sound to it. It's based on a Lexus, this car. Can I say that? But it is a mighty fine car. You want to consider it, for sure, because it's one of the best for cornering. <laughs> Let's check out if those lights work. They do. Happy days. Everyone's a winner. Um, customization wise, as with all tuners class, it's great. It really is. The liveries, I'm happy with the liveries actually, although they are pretty limited, you know. But the reason why you want to buy this car, so if you're like me and you're not very good at driving yet, <laughs> you're not very good at racing, this car is really forgiving. It's really good on the corners. You're going to get good, consistent lap times. You really are. You want to put that um, spoiler on for sure to make sure you have that traction advantage. But you will be winning races because it, it's in the top three. Um, for looks, though, I prefer the Growler. I, actually, I did get better lap times on the Growler. So, but the Growler is also a bit more jiggly. You know, you could spin out a bit more. It's not as solid. Um, so, for that reason, I kind of recommend this as a race with regards to Tuners class races. Specifically, Tuners class. We're only talking about Tuners class because none of these cars are competitive in the sports class. Not suit. Not really. It's all nerfed. So, yeah. Do I recommend you purchase it? Yes, I do. Um, but it's a difficult one. It's like I don't really drive this a lot. Um, but because I prefer, if I do races, I will be driving, not this, but I'll be driving the Sultan RS Classic, which is the best racer in the Tuners class. So, and if I want to drive for fun, I mean, it's got a nice sounding engine, but it's not as crazy as the Karin Coleco GTF. So that is a fun car, it's got loads of understeer, you need to power slide around all the corners. It's just a bit, I mean, you, do, you can do a little bit of a slide there. It's just a little bit of an in-betweener with regards to being a car. But it is nevertheless still a good car. A very good car. One for you to consider. So, yeah. If you found that useful, then yeah, do whatever, you know. Like. Maybe. But um, let me know in your comments what you think of this The Emperor. It is still one of the best Tuners class cars for racing. It has some good customization, So it's worth considering. Ideally, buy them all. Buy this. If I'm going to recommend the cars to you this week, it's going to be the Emperor, this car, the Growler, get out of my way, man, and the Coleco. Those are the only cars that you want to buy this week, for sure, for racing and for just pure customization. Not counting Princess Robot Bubblegum, which is obviously a different category. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and have a great day. If you are playing, Das GTA.